Hey guys, hi, hi, hi. I hope you guys are having a great day. I'm from here at Barnes and Noble. Just left from church, and you know? me and my friends, we just gathered here at Barnes and Noble. And I'm currently right now just in the midst of browsing through this book. If you can see this on this side, it's called Be Anxious for Nothing, Finding Calm and Chaotic. Whoa! And so far, it is amazing. It is good. It is really um, revelation to me. It is very confirmation to me as well. Um, and I, I don't want to be here for long. It's not like one of those long videos. I don't have a dead video in a long time. It's not, you know, one of those long videos or anything like that. Give me a second. Oh, thankfully, they can let me film in their place. Hallelujah. But, um,. Yeah, it's going to be a long video. I just want to encourage you guys. Today's Sunday. So that means tomorrow is a new day. Um, don't worry about tomorrow. You know, don't worry about today. I mean, I'm sorry. Don't worry about tomorrow. Don't worry about yesterday. Just be in the moment. We are living in a society where everything is just moving full pace. Very microwave. Very like, gotta go, gotta go on a run, on a the run. Then we forget to just live in the moment. We forget to just take today's challenges you know as it is we um we forget we do forget that it is only one day at a time you know the bible that's what the bible says it talks about it it talks about it that we shouldn't really take note of our own life and you know don't worry about for tomorrow tomorrow has its own worries of itself so i feel like it's important to just remain humble remain and just in tune with today's problems being the best version of you that jesus has planted inside of you today not what yesterday have done you know you, you learned yesterday you failed yesterday whatever the case may be let it go it's old news you can't bring back yesterday you can't redo yesterday it's already done that's why it's called yesterday and we live in today so we must understand that today we're going to choose to live. We're going to choose to press on. We're going to choose to move forward. We're going to choose to, if I fall, if I fall I'm going to get back up. I'm not going to worry about what anything or anyone has to say about my process, my journey. We have to just press on and move forward. So I just want to encourage you guys. You're going into a new week, and things could get hectic on Mondays. You got children going to school. You have yourself going to school. You have work. You have uh, many other things to worry about. You know, relax your nerves. Calm down. Worry about today. Worry about Sunday. Worry about just getting yourself together today. And everything else will flow. Now, I'm not saying be unorganized and I have a plan. But I'm not saying don't take too much thought about it. Don't beat your head about, like, I got to do this. I got to make sure this is done. And you're, like, running around like a chicken with his head cut off. We don't want that. We want to have a love and sound mind. Because that's what the Lord promised us. A love and sound mind. A peace that surpasses all understanding. That's what he promised us. And we have to take hold of those promises. I was telling my friends the other day, like, we have to really remember the promises of God, that we are forgiven, that we are healed, that we are loved, that we have peace that surpasses our understanding. You know, many times we just go through life and try to get obtain the promises that God has for us individually. In a sense, we're like, Diamond, you know, you're gonna, you know, this is your promise for your life. I promise I over your life. But we forget the simple, basic promises that God has shed on the cross. Which is now we are forgiven. We are loved. So I say all of that. that Just take all of the promises of God into your today. You know, don't fear not tomorrow because God is already there. I read a book about that. I still have the book um, by Ruth Graham. Um, I believe that she's Billy Graham's daughter or wife. I'm not really sure. But you can look it up. It's called Fear Not For God Is Already There. Fear Not Tomorrow For God Is Already There. And it is an amazing, powerful book. I'm gonna try to dab into that book again just scam through it and I took a lot of notes I highlighted it I wrote on, on the side and just to remind myself like I don't need to worry about tomorrow it's already in God's hands it's already in the book of life God has already predestined for me to be where I strategically need to be I'm learning that I be, like I'm learning about who Diamond is in this process if I could be very transparent open with you guys and I'm learning that I believe in God being strategic. You know, no matter what I could do, God always will position me to where I need to be in his perfect will. So I, I could beat myself up about being strategic. I go to his presence and I have rest. I have joy because I know that I have somebody in my hand that could, some my life in somebody's hands, 
that I know that won't drop me. Um, I remember this song by Stephanie Gretzinger, or yeah, Stephanie Gretzinger, powerful woman of God. I love her. I've seen her at many conferences so far. Um, and she said, I am gently held by the hand that can crush me. Like, that is beautiful. You know, if you haven't heard of that song, type it in YouTube. And that song, is it ministers to me every time I hear it because I get so wild up. I get very anxious about little things. And I have to remember who life, who, who hands I'm in. My life, who, my life, you know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> who my life belongs to, you know. And it's God's ultimately. And I don't want to never underestimate God's power and God's love for me ever because it's major. It's big, guys. It's, it's big for us. We have to understand that we serve a God that is supernatural. All right. So that's just a little nugget right about today. Don't worry about yesterday. Don't worry about the failure. Don't worry about what you should have, could have, would have did. It's done. It's over with. There's nothing you can do about it. And I'm also learning to not fuss over things I can't control. Don't work myself up about all things I, can, I can't control. That's out of my reach, out of my hands. I, I, I can't physically, mentally, spiritually, all the leads could possibly I can't do nothing about it it's done it happened all I can do is repent move forward live life learn and just move forward we get stuck we get stagnated in failure we get stagnated on the shoulder cut of waters and what could have happened what I need to do now what, what, what should I do next because I failed no indulge in the now rest in the now because God is here he will meet you where you are all the time no matter if you fail or not he will meet you right there God meet us where we are every time he get us off his he get off his throne and meet us where we are so just remember that guys if you're feeling like you know things have been chaotic or things have been overwhelming just remember God is the God of the now God will meet us now not tomorrow not yesterday but now God was the God of yesterday God is the God of tomorrow but he's also the God of now you know so I'm going to pray this out. I hope that blesses someone. I really hope and pray that someone take heed to what I said because it's very imperative that we take hold of the simple things and don't make it complicated. Sometimes we can overcomplicate God. God is simple. We need to go back to simplicity where God is not overworked or overlooked, where he's just loved and adored and affectionate, you know? So I'm going to pray us out. Father, I just thank you, God, because you are a good father. When we begin to wreck ourselves, before we begin to fall, you just catch us in your sovereignty. And I just thank you and I just bless those that hear. Because I know it would not fall on on shallow ground. That it will fall on deep-rooted love for you, God. And I just pray for their life. I just pray, my God, that you would just give them a calm, sound mind. And that anything that is bothering them in their spirit would just begin to calm down. Just like you told the wave, Father, peace be still. You do the same for us, God. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen and amen. God bless you guys. You already know free indeed, family. We are our focus is to be free in God. Not free through our strength, but free in God. That's the only way we are truly free. So tell a friend and tell a friend, like, comment, subscribe, and just be blessed, be loved, be productive today, be intentional, be loving. Tell a friend, I love you, girl. I love you, God. You know, sometimes I can make a whole person day. You know, let's not overcomplicate God. <laughs> Bye, guys.